Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jagged Alliance uh, 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing uh, the wild ride through the game. The jungle rumble or rumble in the jungle continues as Hogbite and his personal Igor Berry MD and Lifewire are continuing. Uh, we want to get the weapon stash here. That's our next uh, job, so might as well start for us moving. You can weaken the defense of an outpost by resolving a task connected with it. And I'm pretty sure there uh, that is the legendary bunker mission. You will see. Ready. We're moving? Good. If I'm not You're mistaken, moving. Bastion here. <laughs> hey, bien. My friends from the beach. I was just talking about you, wasn't I? C'est vrai. And now you've come to meet my big family, eh? Yes, big family. Many mouths to feed, yep. So true. Yeah, so true. But I'm sure our friends here are willing to help pay for our hospitality. After all, they saw little Miss Emma and her rich friend. I'm thinking they gave you money, no? You don't want to be selfish and let my poor family starve. Hospitality does not fill stomachs. Your money. Now. What hospitality? That's right. I showed you hospitality by letting you visit my shack. Now you have to pay for accommodation, plus interest. Wait, what shack? Ah, uh, it's actually just a lean-to. Not like I stash things there or something. Huh? Stash? Hey, you've been holding out on us. No, I would never. He's been holding out on you. Oh, perhaps you have forgotten all the diamonds you showed us? I thought so. I knew he's been stealing from us. Get him, boys! Man. Some stuff over there. Well, there you go. Nice heavy armor. Oh, I think Uncle used this in Afghanistan. Uncle, <laughs> Uncle used this in Afghanistan. Um, we're going, right? I do not know what it is, but we should probably take Good. it. Good. Time for us to uh, to scout up the rest here. We got rid of the goons. Bastion is busy dealing with these guys. And I would like to take that camp. No problem. Yeah, no shit. Of course, there's an enemy over there. Good at hide and seek. Um, quietly, like this. Hide and seek. Lifewire only has twenty shots, so. Who else is long range? I don't think anyone here is. So. We have a lot of short-range characters at this point. I think there's something here. What? Going. Still undetected. God give rest to their souls. Maybe kill one of uh, them indeed silently. Or we're trying something though. Hmm. 
You see, it looks like a good spot. Or we're just going to go over here, actually. Got it. Even a better I'll spot. Okay, cool. I, see. I mean, bad guys, of course. Just the bad guys. They cannot hit what they cannot see. Yes. Good. Quietly. Um, what? The others are actually better off not overwatching. Still kill possible. Should look good on the report. I sneak up. No problem. No problem. The foreigners are here. Two arms. Well, stealth skill looked good, but didn't fully work out. However, the Overwatch did. How can I assist? Move to over here, and I think we're just going to take really full cover. I am seeking cover. Hmm. That's okay. Yeah, not that I thought the shot would really hit or anything. Yes. Let's shoot. Okay, and we're hunkering down for next turn. Everybody else, continue their overwatch. Let the Major see our courage. Let the Major see our courage. Well, you won't uh, be able to show him a lot. Okay, they try to uh, do a bit of spray and pray. Okay, I was hoping that they would cluster up. Good. Well, that's a solid hit. Two of them is better than nothing. Car is almost about to explode as well. Good move. This is no problem. Single shot, because we need to preserve ammunition. <sighs> Maybe we'll drunk victory for Kato soon, I guess. Igor Dovich, ready. Ready. Um Yeah, let's move over here. The Uzi is really not good in these long range engagements. Taking cover. Okay, Barry. Moves to here. Hunkers down, so we're good. Uh, I give 
no guarantee from this location. Hmm. I thought the circles were almost like, uh, mm, like with uh, Phoenix Point, where such a small circle and the huge target, like the torso, would be an out of hit. But apparently, I was uh, wrong. A loser. I do not think we need to worry. The enemy looks completely disorganized, and if I may say so, not very competent. Moves up. And that should kill, plus injure. Very good. Anchor down so that we do have more time units next turn. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not ridiculous, it's an open shot. How can you... Okay, well... Almost dead. Ready to um do stuff. Yeah, Igor drinks a little bit and we're hunkering down. Yes. Hogbite, come on. Yeah, cover is just working too well for them. Um, Michael here. Good chance of me, um, not missing. I should have just overwatched. Disappointing. And more reinforcements are coming, of course. Very oh, I am wounded. You are good. You should probably get medal. Oh, Good, our explosives are working very, very well. Move over. We're in full cover. Very nice uh, injury right there. Fantastic. Reload and let's just overwatch. Presently in attendance. Life war is okay. What do we do with Igor? Looks over there. Reloading the Uzi. Taking 
Good. Hawkbot takes cover. Ah. Very nice, so let's hit the arms. Good. He's wounded and inaccurate. Knife wire here. This is no problem. Ready to um do stuff. Pretty good odds, I think. Not bad for a first conflict. So, presently in attendance. Live wire here. Let's first of all regain some hit points. Everybody, I think, is quite injured. Got a thousand uh, here. Thousand two hundred fifty dollars. That's good. Ah, vodka will help better. Um, Michael here. Okay. No problem. Of course. Okay, so. Let's first of all scout out, uh, scout out for herbs, because we need a lot of mats. Heading out. There's some loot in here. Barry, my friend, look at that. We got plenty of loot Hello. for you. Let's go. Let's move. But I already know that the bunker is a separate area. I do it. And there had been sure. two people coming out of the bunker. With certainty. So I'm su I'm suggesting the yes, go. thinking that there might be two less enemies in there. We will do. Good. Got With all certainty. of uh, the herbs, which is great. Then we can do something else. Talked about the perk system, right? So this is the full perk system. And essentially, how it works is you do have individual stats: mm -hmm. health, agility, dexterity, strength, wisdom. Bronze, silver, gold. Uh, bronze you can start immediately, silver you need one perk, uh, gold you need three perks in the specific set. Um, and there are also minimum requirements, gate requirements for having at least 70, 80 or 90 in the set to even uh, qualify for the perk. So that's generally how it works. Before we're now going into me half an hour uh, talking through all of the perks, what I rather would want to do is talk about when um, individuals level up take their main step that I'm likely going to use in order to level them up and talk about how I would want to skill them since uh, in the first time uh, I, I looked very in-depth into uh, that skill tree and I think have a sort of reasonable grasp of what it does. So for Dr. Michael MD, it really would be uh, mainly the wisdom stat and since I want to build him as a sniper medic, we're going to go uh, and think about what are our options. On Bronx, uh, we do have 20% more hit points when healing, uh, Distracting Shot, which interrupts Overwatch, Arterial Shot, which has no more penalties when you shoot at arms and legs, damage penalty, so it's not half damage anymore, but full damage, which is great because the legs and arms by themselves are already incurring penalties, so it's essentially free damage plus a status effect. Uh, then we do, do have a couple of morale effects. Whenever you have a negative effect, you instead get inspired. Um, when morale is high or very high, there's a chance to panic enemies. And whenever you deal 50 damage with a single attack, uh, you increase morale. So that, for instance, is pretty good for a sniper, I, I would say. Then the really good perks, the gold uh, perks, are 
granting grit uh, when using bandages that's super good because grit is temporary hit points which means not only are you healing but you're also infusing temporary hit points making it thus less likely that they are uh, that they're immediately taking damage again shock and awe seems great high morale when starting combat so that's good um, ties nightly, nicely um, into dire warning um, for instance and deals 10% extra damage when morale is high or very high so it's flat out 10% increased damage buff so that's huge and trickshot essentially gives additional options uh, when attacking legs arms or the groin uh, that is good for a sniper as well so how i want to skill him is there's one talent that i will get on every single mercenary which is maximum hit point increase simply because we play with lethality and I want to make sure that we're not dying uh, or at least make it as most difficult as possible for the game to be over. So that's the first one on all of them. Uh, for Michael in particular, I think what we would want uh, to do is more healing, then um, Arterial Shot uh, so that he can disable as a sniper, then the Inspiring Strike, and then I would go Painkiller into Shock and Awe and Trick Shot. So that to my um, pre-calculation would be sort of around level 8. I don't know if you can reach that, but that's at least the build that we're going for. Uh, and you can see that um, good old MD here has 88 hit points, and with that is uh, the one with the most hit points. How can I assist? Let's move. Yes. Good. Um... We are going to go further. Let's go underground. Yes. All right. Um, I missed a bit on OBS. So basically not a lot. We moved in. I overwatched and yeah, the overwatch killed two of them. But now we're finding ourselves in a bit of a tough spot here. Can't really move anywhere and close the door. Okay, let's move down here. Um, yeah, well, we got a bit of cover here. That's going to be an interesting hold up there. Ready to shoot. I make Uncle Ivan proud with this shot. Good, let's hit the neck. Come on. Nice. Igor, you need to make Uncle Ivan proud with this shot. And we're drinking a bit of vodka. And then we're calling it a day. Good start. I really think I'm getting the hang of this. Should just go hide, yeah? Yeah, that would be good. Nice, good hits. Overall, generally good hits. You were took 54 damage. Oh boy. Hmm, Igor, what are we going to do? I have good shot enemy. I'm just gonna save 
Really nice. Okay, that was a kill. Igor takes a zip and goes into cover again. Yes. Ready to, nicely um, holding stuff. the position there. If we were to move in, uh, that wouldn't be far enough. Good. Overwatch, I think that works relatively well. Or well, that worked relatively well last turn. Hogbite also can overwatch. Uh, Michael here. Okay, let's try this, see how well our Overwatch is actually doing. It feels that the amount of shots is somewhat compensating for our inability to, uh, to choose targets. Oh wow, now we're suppressed, that's not good. Guy down? No, he's still standing. Oh boy. I have made bad choices. I give no guarantee from this location. You won't be this! The enemy is cold. Igor drinks again. Not yet sure if we want to take a shot. Not yet sure. Hello. I like his position, generally speaking. Explosive! Oh, stop it, man! Ah, that unfortunately did MD not help. Present. Chance of me um, not missing. Okay, we're what? maybe going to do that next turn. Aiming. Torso. It looks like victory will come to us. Hostile taken down. Ah, uh, Lifewire has a problem. She can't really hit anything from where she's currently located. If you need me, I'll just Let's be here. take cover. Okay. And turn. Oh, there's still another goo.
Does he go still have knives? Yes, he does. Ready to shoot. Come on. No, that's a miss. Yes. Not good. How can I assist? Ready. Acknowledged. Oh, but moves in. Shoot. My ammo is getting low. Ridiculous. Very It's only hitting the bad guy. Watch out! Ah, Udo! Moving in and taking a shot. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, yes. yeah. What a nasty battle. This time I will not do the same mistake as with my first playthrough, where I just held the position and then we got attacked again with a lot of wounds. No, 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 no. Not of this time, as Igor would say. Okay, overall, good fight. A couple of things that I realized. First, we didn't know how many enemies we were facing, so that was a problem. Could have potentially done that a bit better. Secondly, we're moving. The enemies still had automatic weapons, plenty thereof. And that made okay. uh, well, made for a situation where we just took a lot of damage. Heading out. So not sure how to mitigate that better, other than what we did. Maybe I'm too hard on myself, but it was yet again quite difficult encounter. <laughs> Nice, another Gewehr. Reload, and we do have Warshop Pack standard ammunition, which also means good old Hogbite finally has a proper weapon in hand. wonder yeah that might be better nah we do have knives okay maybe we're finding something else lots of loot first aid kit okay I thought Hogbite had one apparently that's not the case uh, life wire definitely is good at first aid so might as well give her the spare first aid kit Nice, double barrel shotgun. Well, here you go. That solves any <clears throat> discussion. Wider range of cone decreases re reliability, reduces range. Hmm. Yeah, we... 
not investing into weapons that might not be the permanent solution. What? We do it. We have agreement. Nice MP4 40. That is good. Uh, you know, I mean, Igor actually could use the MP40. And we could modify this weapon a little bit, just with that minor accuracy bonus for snipers. I feel that is a good investment. Specifically since our snipers seem to have a very low accuracy. We're almost out of explosives, so we need to find a solution for that. But if we're looking at the weapons, we finally do have two proper snipers. We got an AK-47, which is great. It's a great weapon. Might as well modify it a bit, but we only have 60 parts, so not yet. We need to repair all of that. Uh, shotgun, good, and MP40, definitely good as well. Nice, another MP40. Good. Igor can with that look at this. with that MP40. Igor can also engage on a reasonable range. And there we go. That's the machine gun we've been talking about. Machine guns very good, but ultra hungry for ammunition. And I want um, to make sure that going, right? I want to make sure that we're uh, clear and careful with our ammunition good next stop that's just common courtesy back to the village Emma Lafontaine if you are listening to this your father is a fool and so are you you think you can stop the legion with a bunch of mercenaires think again and you mercenaire dogs you have defied the legion and attacked my village for this insult, you will pay with your life. Pierre, over. Okay, well, Pierre, we're going to see about that. Go for glory. Four now. We are in no sector. I hope there is something for dry throat here. Let's solve a couple of quests, shall we? Let's move. Go. Yes. All right, all right. I appreciate you taking the time to teach us how to defend the town. I have to say, the militia that you trained would certainly benefit. The machine gun is yours. Now that's a hell of a weed whacker. A little grease in the tripod, and it will be ready to keep those legion types from sprouting up again. Very good. Goodbye, my friend. Did we get experience? Nice, we got experience and with that our second sniper has leveled up. Livewire, um, who also does have a lot of uh, a lot of wisdom, has leveled up and maybe we will go for a similar um, build for her. The other option is dexterity. Uh, let's look at the dexterity perks because I promised we want uh, to take a look at them. And we definitely need uh, to get uh, 70 health because I want that hit point improvement specifically for someone with low health. So if we're looking at dexterity, sneak mode, harder to spot um, and have an easier time uh, stealth killing. Critical hits uh, will deal 50% more damage. Critical chance is affected by character level and higher crit weapons. Um, so that's good. 
um, enables crits with interrupt attacks. Uh, automatically reloads if Overwatch was uh, used last turn. So that's really for a sniper that overwatches a lot and 5% extra crit per aim, which is good because with sniper rifles you can get up to four stacks of aim, so that's 20% crit. Then on the silver one, become inspired after you land uh, two hits whilst being in overwatch. So specifically if you hit multiple times, you automatically become inspired and that is for AP uh, for next turn, which is good. React to fire, make an interrupt attack with firearms uh, when an enemy attack misses you during the enemy turn. Uh, so that uh, is potentially more for kind of the midfield. Um, I thought about uh, using assault rifles and then really react the fire to kind of interu uh, interrupt back. So dexterity is potentially something more that uh, Hogbite could, for instance, go in. And then stealth skills gain a uh, slightly increased chance for extra stealth skills while sneaking. Sharpshooter gain two possible um, aims with your first attack uh, each round. Uh, deal 20% more damage with the first attack each round. So that's good. That's just front loaded, a lot of front loaded damage. Make a bonus attack um, when making any interrupt attack. So that plus the interrupt attack could go for uh, could make for really nice build um, assassination increases the chance for stealth kills uh, with three plus um, aim levels so that is for just using the sniper and kind of a suppressor to essentially kill 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 so what i was thinking as a build but that is more midfield so we're talking hogbite in this case is there is another uh, perk Make an uh, interrupt attack with a firearm when taking significant damage. And here, make an interrupt uh, attack when enemy misses. Here, you get inspired when taking Overwatch. And I think there was another... Um, there was another um, perk that allowed to make an addition... Oh no, uh, the... The... Um, uh, the scopes of the assault rifles allowed to make an additional overwatch attack. So one thing that y we could do is um, we could enable crits with interrupt attacks and automatic re reload after overwatch. That in itself is not bad. Then basically have react the fire, uh, go for revenge as well. So those would be four uh, because you need another uh, slot here. And then you, we can either go into kill zone and really making a lot of interrupt um, attacks, make a bonus attack when making an interrupt attack. So that'll be really, really nice. Or you go for kind of a more defensive build. Uh, we will talk about that as and when uh, time comes. Now we do have a available perk and I'm thinking um, she has a bit of medic as well. We could, uh, we could, uh, make her kind of a sniper in this uh, regard because there are a lot of good traits uh, uh, that we could or good uh, gold perks that we could get up here um, that's not bad but I definitely would want her to be beefed up but I can uh, see that the um, that the morale management benefits from just having more morale uh, for instance um, uh, if you start with high morale um, like this one here, high morale when starting combat, that is for the entire group, right? So um, if you do have that on one of your characters, uh, any um, trait that requires high morale automatically becomes better. So I think what I want to do is we can either use distracting shots to get rid of the overwatch, that would be interesting, or we're going with arterial shots, which I will select. Um, that means she can help us hit and take out or make enemies more efficient. Hello, my friend. I appreciate. Have you met very much? If he talks. Okay. Au revoir. Good. Yeah. Au revoir. Let's. Hello. Let's for move. now, just double check if we have missed anything. It does not Heading seem out. like it. But Martha is potentially happy Let's that go. we... Oh no, we haven't even Stay found her husband. If has been... 
Never mind. I um, thought we had found him already. Right. Of course. Go. Good, the machine gun has been delivered, which means no now. Sure, we'll get there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do a wild party here. We have so many injured uh, characters, which means every single one of you does a big fat party. This test brings glory to the Dolvich family. Can't really do militia training, nah, that's not good. So we're just going to wait that out. It's the most efficient way of healing because it doesn't cost anything and yeah there is the attack squad that I remember the last time this must be this must be some sort of a scripted event um, in terms of operations if we're helping Igor that's one day Should start with that. I'll get right on it. In the meantime, Barry can repair. And I think we're just going to start with the most important things. I have initiated work on this task. Okay, and MD. What is MD doing? No, Hogbite is the only one left over. Mm. Hogbite was to train the militia. That'll be two days. And we're increasing their ranks to veteran. Might as well start that. Unfortunately, we will be interrupted before all of that training happens, but that's okay. I'll get it done. It is something that's going to happen next uh, time, though, because this brings us to the end of today's episode. This brings us to the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed uh, your ride. I most certainly did. We got a nice little bunker full of weapons and now it's time to fight against the Legion attack squad. And that can only mean one thing and one thing only. Lots and lots of massacres. But again, that's going to happen in the next episode. Thanks for watching and see you in two days. Bye bye.